Hi, my name is Patch. I am here because I would like to talk with you about a topic that I imagine will be fundamental for you in the future. This topic is called linear programming. Linear programming is basically a branch of optimization. Although you may not have thought about it, many of the decisions we make every day are related to optimization. For example, imagine a salesperson who is trying to decide a route to visit different customers. Quite possibly, these types of decisions are taken intuitively, but it would be excellent to have methods to ensure that these decisions really represent the lowest possible cost. Especially, if these decisions are taken frequently. Let's think now that you have different ingredients that you want to mix to make a diet with the lowest cost. And these mixtures must have restrictions on nutrients, such as proteins, carbohydrates, sugars, vitamins. This type of problem is known as a diet problem. And it is one of the classic applications of linear programming. Now, suppose you have savings, and you are looking for different investment plans to maximize the return on your capital. Although this could be thought of as a financial problem, linear programming could solve such problems. Actually, Linear programming can be as flexible as you have the ability to formulate different types of problems. Let's go to the office, and there, I will explain you more details about this subject. Linear programming is a special case of mathematical optimization, and solve problems that have the following form. Linear programming is a technique for the optimization of a linear objective function subject to linear equality and linear inequality constraints. The term, linear, means that all variables have exponent 1. That is, x1, x2, or any other variable, cannot be squared or any other power. If any variable appears raised to another power, then we must use another resolution method, but we could not use linear programming. As I said before, the applications of linear programming are very diverse, but we will try to give classic examples of different applications of this method. The solution to problems of linear programming was found in 1947, by George Dantzig. The solution algorithm is known as Simplex method. Currently, a large majority of specialized programs solve this type of problems based on the simplex. On the other hand, it is also important to talk about some assumptions of linear programming models, such as proportionality, additivity, continuity, and certainty. Proportionality is the assumption that both, the objective function and the constraints, the principle of proportionality must be fulfilled. For example, suppose that for the production of a computer, we use two hours of labor. Then, to produce three computers, six hours of labor will be needed. Or, if for each computer we have a profit of $4. Then, for three computers, we will have a profit of $12. The additivity refers to the fact that in both, the objective function and the constraints, the contribution of each variable is independent of the values of the rest of the variables. The total of all activities being equal to the sum of each individual activity, for example, if for each desktop we use 2 hours of labor, and for each laptop we use 3 hours of labor. So, to make a desktop and a laptop, we will use 5 hours of labor. Or, if you have a profit of $3 per desktop, and a profit of $4 per laptop, then for a desktop and a laptop, you will have a profit of $7. When we speak of certainty, we must understand that this concept refers to the fact that the coefficients of both the objective function and the constraints are known accurately, and in addition, do not present variations in the time. The solutions of the problem will be, in general, real numbers, not necessarily integers. This is the continuity assumption. For those problems in which it only makes sense to obtain integer solutions, integer linear programming techniques will be used. Finally, even if it is not an assumption, linear programming models regularly contemplate that the variables assume non-negative values. 
In the following videos, we will see some classic examples of the applications of linear programming. See you soon.